Hi guys, I am really excited to share with you this look. It's my disco look and I had so much fun doing it. I had to come back to the place I go um, and I used to go even more often when I moved to New York, Acme, because it's such a cool club and bar where it's a bit more intimate, a bit more small and the music is so good. I had a bit of makeup from the morning, so I'm just going to add a concealer around my lips and under my eyes to freshen up my skin. I have a bit of brown pencil between my eyelashes to make my eyes a bit stronger, so you can do that if you have no makeup on, you can just add it. I barely use powder, but for this look I want to have a matte skin because I'm going to use gloss on my lips, which I never do, but that's why I'm using powder. This holographic highlighter is a must-have for disco look, of course. So I'm really excited to have found this one that is amazing. I love the color and I love the texture. I'm gonna apply it on all the highlight zone. It makes such a beautiful glow on the skin and it's so easy to use. Pink blush as always, especially because I'm gonna use purple on my eyes. So I really need pink to balance with my yellow undertone. And now I'm gonna add concealer on my eyelid as a base because my eyelids are dark. You're gonna see like it's a double liner. You're not gonna see it as well. So that's why I need like a more light base and I'm gonna powder it so it's not gonna crease or it's not gonna migrate. So I'm basically creating a base. So you, of course you can use an eye base if you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna have now this eye pencil that is a metallic purple. I love it because the texture is super smooth, super pigmented, very easy to use. And I actually like it better for an eyeliner to use a pencil because I feel like when you're using a liquid eyeliner, it gives sometimes, especially when it's matte black, a bit of a, like a very sharp shape. It's almost a bit too rigid for me, a bit too aggressive. So I love the smoothness, the tenderness, <laughs> I would even say, of an um, eyeliner drawn with the pencil. So I'm really happy with this one because it's super easy. Now with a very tiny Q-tips, I'm gonna clean up the contour and the edge if it's necessary. So now I'm gonna do the double line and I'm gonna use my crease to help myself to really have like my eyes even. So I'm like drawing a very thin line at the beginning. And because my eyes are round, in the inner corner, I'm going to make it a bit more straight. So that's going to make my eye a bit more almond. And for the outside corner, I'm going to really follow the shape of the bottom cat eye line. Basically for the whole part, you're using your crease, so that's going to help you make a perfect shape. And then for the inner corner and the outside corner, just adjust based on your morphology and what fits you the most. Now I am using this beautiful metallic purple eyeshadow with this tiny, tiny brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my eyeliner because I really want to give this fluorescent purple and you can see now, boom, you have this electric purple vibrant color and that's disco. <laughs> to me, this is disco. I always say to you, you need a little touch of vavavoom to make it special. Just using the eye pencil to me was not enough. I needed to add a little bit more touch of Baba Boom to it. And then that's great because I can use a pigment on the brush to put a little bit of the color on the bottom lashes. It's actually very easy to do. One advice uh, for you guys is when you do the second line, the upper line, Mm, do it with your face really really facing the mirror don't go chin up chin down because you want to be able to see your crease perfectly and as soon as you're going to move your face then it's going to change the shape so when you do it find a position where you're comfortable and then just stick to it black mascara tons 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 on the bottom lashes <laughs> but I always tell you to focus on the roots so you have a bit more like light end of like tip of your lash so it doesn't look like spider lashes and then for my lips usually I never go lighter because it makes me feel weird for some reason <laughs> I'm not a fan but for this disco look I had to have lighter lips so I applied by padding this sort of like pink and then I use this light nude gloss and 
I was like, okay, this is really gonna be different from what I do. But again, that's why I love doing those videos for you guys. It pushed me, you know, out of my comfort zone and I'm discovering new things thanks to this. Basically, when we say in French, je joue le jeu, it means I'm playing the game for you by creating these looks. And sometimes I'm like, I'm not really sure this is gonna fit me. But then I discover new colors, new shapes, new techniques, and you know, it inspire me to use more different things on my face too. So thank you guys for this and have fun. Enjoy your femininity, celebrate it. Um, makeup is not a tattoo, it's just a way to celebrate ourselves. So I really hope you are using it that way, not to change your features or not to change who you are, but as a celebration.